Today we'll be learning about cells and organism. Let's take a look at uh, the definition of cell. The definition of cell is this, basic unit of living material. So you would argue that what is living and what is not living. Living material are alive. So what separates things that are alive with things that are not alive? Things that are alive, they tend to be able to carry out a total of seven functions. So what are the seven functions? First, living organism, they feed, that means they eat. Okay, they eat food, whether it's vegetables or meat. Number two, they excrete. If they eat, they will have to remove waste, okay, waste material from metabolism. And then besides that, they grow. They grow larger up to a certain period, of course. They grow, they also carry out reproduction. They reproduce so that you get more and more of the same organism, same type of organism. Then we have, uh, they respire, meaning they release energy. They release energy so that they can move, they can do other activities such as growing. They release energy so that they can um, basically carry out dating, courting, mating, all this to reproduce. So respire is quite important. And the last one, number seven, is respond. That means they respond to the outer environment. Like plants, they respond to light. They grow towards light. They grow towards the sunlight. Um, like um, animals, they tend to live near places with a lot of water. They respond. They tend to run away if there is a certain stimulus that cause pain and so on. So they respond. So this differentiates things that are alive from things that are not alive. Okay, and cells are actually the basic unit of things that are alive. Okay, it is the smallest part of a living cell. Most cell consists of cell membrane, cytoplasm, and nucleus. So if I can draw a simplistic cell, this is the cell membrane. The cytoplasm is the void space in the middle. And the nucleus is the dense inner region of the cell. So this is the cell membrane. Oops, this is the cell membrane. This is the cytoplasm and this is the nucleus. Okay, organisms are just, with just one cell, are known as unicellular. Organism, they are made up of more than one cell, are known as multicellular. So, what does uni here means? So, from the description earlier, uni here means it's made up of only one cell. Multi means many cells. Okay? So, examples of multicellular organism is human, animal cells, it's a form of animal, hibiscus, a form of plant. Then we have other unicellular cells, amoeba, paramecium, euclina, bacterium. They are made up of one cell on its own. Okay? So multicellular here means there are lots and lots of cells, okay, which eventually make up the whole functioning organism. So not just one, not just two, not just hundred, but billions and billions and billions to made up of one, to made up one multicellular organism.